This device has multiple lasers set up in parallel. The rays of light shown will approach the optics parallel to each other. For a flat mirror, this produces reflection. The reflected rays remain parallel to each other. For a concave mirror, the reflected rays converge. The point where this occurs is called the focal point. Because of this effect, these mirrors are also called converging mirrors. Turning to the other side of the curved mirror gives us a convex surface. For a convex mirror, the reflected rays diverge. However, tracing the light back still reveals a focal point. Because of this divergence, these mirrors are also called diverging mirrors. When a material is transparent to light, it can either reflect or refract. For flat surfaces, the rays remain parallel after refraction. If the interface is curved, then the rays of light are refracted differently. With a convex surface, the rays converge as they pass the curved edge. Also notice how either all or some of the light is reflected back as it leaves the medium. This combination of effects can be used to deviate light. We can have transmission or reflection. In this case, the reflection is specular since it occurs as a flat interface and the rays remain parallel. You see transmission and reflection. Curved transparent mediums lenses can also be used to deviate light. A convex or converging lens will cause the light to converge to a focal point. Like the convex mirror, the concave lens will cause the incident light to diverge.